First Kings chapter 3, verse 24 to 27. Hallelujah. You know, um, early this week I was pondering on entering into another session of what we started, the series we started, and the Holy Spirit gave me a prompt word. Hallelujah. Gave me a prompt word, and I believe it's for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we read together with a unified voice? Want to go? And the king said, bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. Next verse. And the king said, divide the living child in two. And give half to the one and half to the other. Continue. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king. For her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, oh my lord, give her the living child. And in no wise slay it. But the other said, let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Next verse. Then the king answered and said, give her the living child. And in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. Hallelujah. Uh, the Lord gave me a word this week. Somebody say, it shall not be divided. Can you say it like you mean it? Say it shall not be divided. It shall not be divided. Say it shall not be divided. It shall not be say my life will not be divided. Say my destiny will not be divided. Say my, will say my glory will not be divided. Say my, will my family will not be divided. Will say my divided. wealth will not be divided. Will not say my divided. riches will not be divided. Will not Am be I speaking divided. to somebody here? If you believe that thing you just said, can you shout fire? fire. Shout fire, fire, fire. fire, fire, fire. Yeah, 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 Sit down, yeah, yeah, let me bring yeah, yeah. you God's word. I want you to know in this life that in order to get success in life, it begins with what you say. I told us earlier, in First Samuel 17 from verse 43, the Bible said, Goliath looked at David. David looked like a small boy, but Goliath still did not depend on his size. He implored his God by reason of his words. He spoke because when you speak, spirits take it. Am I speaking to somebody here? The Bible said in Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. It began by speaking. And he spoke, the light came. When you speak, you begin to see it. That is why I said you should repeat after me. Say, my life shall not be divided. Say, my destiny shall not be divided. Say, my children will not be divided. My family will not be divided. My marriage will not be divided. As you have said, so shall it be your family in the name of Jesus. In Mark 11, 23, it says, Verily I say unto you, that whatsoever, but whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed from here. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, it begins by speaking. Hallelujah. Whosoever shall say to this man, and you don't doubt in your heart, it shall be done for you. In Job 22, 29, the Bible says, when men are cast down, thou shalt say, when men are cast down, you will say, hallelujah. When men are cast down, everybody can be in the category. Until you say, there is a lifting. Hallelujah. Until you give your declaration with your mouth that there is a lifting, then you can be like them. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. The Bible says, where the word of the king is, there is power. Somebody say power. As you begin to speak in this service, power will live from here. Enter your family in the name of Jesus. In Matthew 12 and verse 37, he said, for by thy word, thou shalt be what? By thy word. Somebody say, it shall not be divided. Say my destiny, you shall not be divided. Say my health, you shall not be divided. My home, my marriage, my family, you shall not be divided. My children, you shall not be divided. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Kabbalah. In Mark chapter 3 and verse 24 to 25, in Luke 11, 17 to 18, Matthew 12, 25 to 26, the Bible said Jesus himself spoke. He said, a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. When a house has been divided, it cannot stand. The enemy comes in the spirit and begins to divide homes. The enemy comes into people's lives and begins to divide your destiny. Listen, there is no day you ask somebody, how are you? He said, my ear is fine, my eye is fine, my nose is fine. But when the enemy has divided the body, head can have problem. Ears can have problem. Nose can have problem. Parts of the body can have problem. 
after they have succeeded to divide in the spirit and they attack one thing. Has anybody asked you before? How, will, how are you doing? You say, my kidney is okay. But when the kidney is attacked, there is division in the body. Body parts are identified by themselves. Because there is a division. But I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every motion to divide your health, to divide your wealth, to divide your marriage, to divide your destiny, I decree today it is canceled by fire. Say it shall not be divided. Say it shall not be divided. In the name of Jesus. What does it mean to divide? What does it mean to divide? Number one, to separate or be separated into parts. To separate or to, se to be separated into parts. Kola Rabasha. When a marriage is divided, it ends up in separation. When the enemy enters into a home and brings disorder and brings division in the realms of the spirit, then it ends up in separation. I came as I'm instructed by God. After now, every division that has been constituted in your home, I decree is scattered. It backfires. I say it backfires. I say it backfires. I say it backfires. In the name of Jesus. Number two, what is what does it mean to divide? Disagreement. Somebody say disagreement. When the enemy introduces disagreement in a family, that is division they are brought. When the enemy divides a home, people don't agree together. You see everybody going their own side. There is no agreement. Husband and wife will be arguing over food, argue over space or bed. You cannot sleep in front, you cannot sleep behind. You cannot do you can't press toothpaste from the bottom. You can't press it in the middle. When you use the soap, you, you use soap too much. Come on. The enemy has divided the home. When mega issues, small, small things become the topic of the day. People killing one another for tax return. Come on now. And you check how much it's not even in tens of thousands. Of Maybe 300, 700. When the home has been divided, people begin to fight and they don't know why they are fighting. You see it as a legal reason. Child of God, there is a division in that house. That is why God sent me here. Everything the enemy has programmed, I cancel it by fire. Every division program over your family, I cancel it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakuda Baladia. Separation, Manata. When there is division, when there is division, people don't agree. You are surprised you see people don't agree in the family. The devil has divided them. He has divided them. Somebody that is helping others. Yes, people gang up against the enemy has divided the family. When you check in every family, the people they fight are the people who carry destiny. Come on. Because the enemy has divided them. He wants to single-handedly handle everybody. That is why he makes sure they don't get help from who is supposed to help them. That is why he makes sure they begin to fight the one God has put as a Joseph in the family. But I came by the mandate of Yahweh. Every division set in your home, set in your marriage, set among your siblings, today I decree is canceled by fire. I say it's cancelled 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 by fire. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it shall fire three times. Number three. Before we enter number three. You know, in, 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 in Genesis 11. Start reading from verse 6. The Bible says, God confused the language. When the people were building the Tower of Babel. The only thing that can stop a family from being established is division. When you see a family with so much potential, and yet things are not working, the enemy has divided them. When you see a family that can do well in life, you see a man and a woman that can succeed in business in many things, the enemy introduced division. Hey, you keep your own money, I keep my own money. At the end of the day, nobody can do anything with their money. When the enemy divides a home, a home that can go far, a home that can be established. A home that can be historic. The enemy introduced division. The brother don't want to talk to the brother. The sister don't want to talk to the brother. I stand here as a voice of God. And I make declaration over your life. Under the grace of my father. I decree that division is scattered. I say that division is scattered. I say that division is scattered. I say that division is scattered. 
I said that division scatter in the name of Jesus. There are families. Now we are praying your brother will die. We, why? The brother, the enemy entered, divided the family. Take somebody that's supposed to be your brother you love from your heart. Carry them to a witch doctor. And say, is this your brother your sister fighting you? And you know here we don't spare the witch. The Bible, the Bible says, suffer not the witch to live. As they, con as they combine with witch doctor, they become witch. So we deal with them. That is why there are families, people are dying every day. Because the enemy has divided the family. Introduce some into wizardry. Introduce some into witchcraft. That is why they attack you day and night. But I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any man or woman on assignment to divide your family, to divide your children, to divide your loved ones, to divide your home, I decree they expire. Somebody say expire, expire. In the name of Jesus. The devil looked at. So these people, if they are united, they will go far. It's the same thing you introduce in Genesis. Genesis chapter 3. When Eve was there, she, the devil knew God already gave an instruction. He said, how can I divide? And he entered. And he began to cut things. Say things that are not supposed to be there. And he fell for the trick of the enemy. And that is why Adam and Eve could not enjoy the plan of God. But hear me, you will enter rest this year. You will enter the plan of God this year. The purpose of God will manifest in your life. It shall manifest in your family, among your siblings, among your children, in the name of Jesus. Number three, what is division? To split up. Somebody said to split up. Say to split up. Oh, Kabadasha. The enemy enter into families, butcher them into several portions. Cut people into several portions. Scatter a home, scatter family, split people up. Every end point of division is splitting. Am I speaking to somebody here? Every end point, the very end point of division is splitting either into two or several parts. People that would have joined together and become unbreakable. People that would have worked together and become unbreakable. Now people are suffering individually when there is a grace available in the house. When there is something that can work for them. The same thing applies to the church. When people, the devil wants to take people or make people frustrated in life, it begins to divide, give people different mindset, different motive. Whatever is coming for glory, people see it as, no, it is not, it is this, it is that. Because the enemy has come to divide. But I stand here because this word, God gave it to this church. Any man or woman on assignment to divide over from Baltimore, I decree they expire this season. I said they expire this season. I said they expire this season. I said they expire this season. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Baratasha. God wants us to be united. Hallelujah. Psalm 133 and verse 3. Oh, Rukatasha. He said, let brethren dwell together in harmony. Let people live together in unity. Let us dwell together in harmony. Baratasha. Psalm 133 verse 3. Manako shigabalatia. O breketo zaga. He said, as the Jew of Hammon, you can start from verse 2. He said, as the Jew of Hammon, and as the Jew that descended upon the uh, uh, mountain of Ephraim, that's the kind of anointing they enjoy. Hallelujah. Start from, can you start from verse 2? Or oh, from verse 1, rather. Mm -hmm. one thirty, uh, 133, verse 1. Hallelujah. Behold, how good and pleasant. Hallelujah. How good and pleasant it is. When we dwell together, it's, it's pleasure before God. God is happy to see a family united. See husband and wife in one voice. See family, brothers and sisters in one tone. But the work of the enemy is division. But God has a word for you. He said that division that they programmed against your home, today mark his expiry date. That division, the program for your body, today mark his expiry date. That division, the program for your marriage, today mark his expiry date. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The scripture we read, I just want us to, I want to throw light before we begin to see how, you know, what do we need to do if that destiny, if your life, if your family will not be divided. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 3, if you start from verse 16, the Bible spoke about, they said two women, said two harlots, said they live together in the same house. This woman came to the king. He said, then came there two women that were harlot unto the king and stood before him. Next verse. He said, and the one woman said, oh my Lord, 
I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the same house. Hallelujah. She said, and it came to pass the third day. After that, I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house. Take note. There is never a stranger. Familiar people. Say, so save the two of us in the house. Mother. He said, and this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And this woman did an exchange. She came and laid a dead child and carried my child. Somebody hearing at all. This woman came and laid a dead child. Listen, the people that are fighting you are people who have lost it in life. Can I say that again louder in your ears? Those fighting you are those who have lost it in life. Those who don't have a place anymore in the family are those fighting you because you have won the heart of your parents. Those who don't have a place are the place of the, your job because they have been rude and disrespectful to the bosses. And they now pay attention to you, but they have decided to fight you. Why is it that they are liking this person? Because they lost their chances. The people that come out against you is because their chances are gone. Their own destiny is dead. That's why they want yours also dead. That is why we came. That is why God gave the word. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody in this service? Oh, Shakudaba. Whatever they are, whoever they are, we will identify them today and we put an end to their motion. In the name of Jesus. I love what the woman said. He said, after I examined in the day, he said, I realized this was not my child. When she woke up at night to take care of the child, she saw the child was dead. And she was already in mourning. But in the morning, she identified this is not my child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she was the one that took it to the king. Because when they got there, she began to talk. Hallelujah. I just wanted to throw a little light before we begin to scatter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Barasha. If you will not be divided, number one, mind your company. Somebody say, mind your company. Mind your company. Say, mind your company. It was two of them. She said, no one else. There was no stranger. Mind your company. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? Let God show you your friends. Many of our so-called friends are our enemies. Many of them, the people we call friends, best friends, they are our enemies. They are envious of you. They are the one fighting you. They are the one dividing your home from behind. Can you imagine? The woman said, let it neither be mine or hers, but divide it. Why? Because she is convinced her own child is dead. Your own two should die. Because she doesn't have grief on her marriage. She's telling you, marriage, is there anything like marriage? She is envious. So. Say, forget that man, he will change. There's no change in here. I've known him for 10 years. I've known him for 15 years. We've been together all this while he didn't change. So why is he going to change now? Because you said it? Back to sender. You have lost it. You were fighting your own. That is why your own left you. I am not fighting my own. She overlaid her own. Her own died. And she, she wants to, want your own two to die when you took care of your own. Beware of friends. Mind your company. Let God show you them. Can two work together? Amos 3 3. Except they be agreed. Let your agreement be in the house of God, from the presence of God. Let God locate those friends around you. Let God locate those friends around you. The psalmist said in Psalm 55 from verse 12 to 14. He said, for it was not an enemy. Oh, Shakabaha. It, it, it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. it. Neither was it he that hated me. That did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. You know how to run from enemies. How can you run from friends? He said, but it was thou a man, my equal, my guide. Somebody who give me counsel. I tell you my things and you tell, advise me. They, 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 we took sweet counsel together. He said, we walk into the house of God together. Manakasha. He said, that is the person. Be careful of friends. Be careful of friends. Watch your friends. Let it be from God. If God does not choose somebody for your life, be careful. Zachariah 13, 6. He said, and one shall say unto him, what are these wounds in thy hands? He said, the ones that I sustain from the house of my friend. 
Friends, the wound person. Friends, the wound person. Be careful. Papa told us what happened one time. A woman came to fire night because the husband was not picking her call. The husband stopped talking to her, the man that lives abroad. She didn't know, and she came to church with her best friend. Her best friend was getting married to that man that weekend. And the man was in Africa, and the woman was not aware. And Papa asked her, I said, who is that? I said, my best friend. He said, she's not your, let's know if she, truly she's your friend. Bring her phone. When they took her phone, they saw, buy me banana. I said, that's your husband's text. Ah! And the woman removed her headscarf and tied her waist. Papa said, it's not here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, so you, the one that, the, you will show your text. This man has not been picking my call. What do I write to you? Tell him, go to hell. She's the one telling, no, 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 remove that one. Put, go to hell. And she goes behind and says, ah, I'll be advising your wife. Oh, I see her with one boy. Oh, I told her not. And she's the one that said, tell him, go to hell. Your friends. A great man of God said, Lord, I can handle my, my enemies. Say, Lord, help me take care of my friends. When enemies are coming, you are ready to fight. But when a friend is coming with a hawk, you didn't know that there was a sword at the back. I pray for you. Any 40 friend around your life, from this minute, may they be uncomfortable around you. May they be uncomfortable around your family. Anyone with a witchcraft motive, anyone with wickedness in their heart, may they become uncomfortable around your affairs. In the name of Jesus. We enter relationship anyhow with our head, our legs, our food, and everything. And you are sacrificing heavily towards it. And you didn't know it. It's like you are raising up a python. That when it grows up, it swallows you. In Jonah, the book of Jonah, the Bible said God sent Jonah to Nineveh. And Jonah sent himself to Tarshish. And he saw a boat heading to Tarshish. He jumped into it. And you know, the people did not know. I wish they knew. That this man we just carried now. We make us drop our goods into the sea. I wish they knew that this person we just brought into our house is the one that will cause our future problem. I wish they knew that this person we are helping is the one that will stand in the public to talk nonsense about us. I wish they knew. I don't know who is around you, around your home. Maybe that you are feeding, that is growing so that they can fight you. One prayer I will pray for you. Everything that belongs to you they have eaten, it will become poison in their body today. I say we become poison in their body today. Even your prayer for them will become a curse. Anyone that you have been a blessing to, that is waiting to harvest your soul, that is waiting to divide your home. This woman said, let it neither be mine nor her. I said, divide it. Your life will not be divided. Your children will not be divided. When the enemy divides a home, children don't talk to father and mother. Father and mother are fighting to reach their children. They cannot. Because the enemy has divided the home. I decree over your home, let that division scatter. I said that division scatter. Let that division scatter. Any man on assignment to divide your home, may you be disconnected from them. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Manakasha. We said, if you shall not be divided, mind your company. Number two, take control of your night. Somebody say, take control of your night. I'm going chronologically. The company is the first thing. Because if not for a relationship they have, two people cannot live together without at least a little bit of trust. Am I, is, that, is that true here? There should be a little bit of trust to be sharing house with somebody that they have access to enter your room. There's, there's, there's some trust, some level of trust. And the second thing is the night. I wish this woman was sleeping with one eye closed, one eye open. And then this one was coming with a dead baby. Just ta! <laughs> eh? Take control of your night. It was sleep that killed her own child. Why the other one was sleeping? Even though maybe she put a pillow so she would not climb her baby. The other one, somebody came and stole the baby, did exchange. Because she was far asleep. She did not watch over her night. 
Somebody talk to your neighbor, say, neighbor, take control of your night. Psalms 30 and verse 5, he said, weeping may endure for the night. A night season is a time of tears. It's a time where anything is possible. When I was growing up, I realized something. Because right now, I mean, we only attend to people praying. But every, everybody around us, if somebody is sick, the intensity of the sickness at night is bigger than in the day. Is that true here? When you discover, if it's headache, you look like they just gather the whole house and put on top of your head while you are sleeping. And when the head is beating, poop, poop, your legs, even your legs are shaking. But in the morning, you can walk around. Have you suffered toothache? Oh my God. Toothache, earache. At night, you are looking at the time. Five past twelve. You roll and roll and roll and roll. When you check again, seven minutes past twelve. And you thought it's already two o'clock. The night season. is a time that enhances pain. It's a time where the enemy has power. It's a time where grieving is so heavy. It's a time where pain is, is, is amplified. Oh, Barasha, take control of your night. Numbers 14 verse 1. It's an all the congregation lifted up their voice and wept that night. 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 Take control of your night. Verse 19 of that first, uh, first Kings uh, chapter 3. Makata. Verse 19. It's that the woman's child died in the night. The woman's child died when? In the night. Because she overlaid. Say, neighbor, take control of your night. Matthew 13, 25. He said, why men slept? His enemy came, so tasked, and went his way. Typical example of the one that came, collected a living child, and dropped a dead baby. And when the matter was being examined, she said, divide it. She said, divide it. She said, divide it. Listen, people think that uh, even though we separate, listen, anything that has been divided is already dead. If a destiny is divided, it is useless because you can never meet your purpose. Just imagine you are born to be a footballer and then the enemy divides you, one leg got broken. I want to take play ball or, or basketballer. The enemy gives you an affliction that took off both hands. And a prophecy came while you were in the womb. Say he's going to be a great basketballer. The devil came, caused one kind of manipulation, and the child's two hands are cut off. How can he achieve that destiny? Divided someone's destiny. When destinies are divided, it is dead already. When a marriage is divided, there's nothing like marriage again. It's man, no rage. Because the man goes his way, the woman goes away. It is dead, right? Am I speaking to somebody here? Hallelujah. Say, neighbor, take care of your night. Take control of your night. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 5. He said, arise and let us go by night. Let us go when? By night. Every believer, especially an omega child, we must understand the power of the night. When you pray an hour in the night, the potency of that prayer is more than five hours in the day. Am I speaking to somebody here? One time we're doing Bible study about the night season, and somebody asked a question. He said, seeing that we have different time zone, he said, like for me, I'm from Africa. He said, so when, I'm, when, when it's night here, it's daytime already there in Africa. He said, so how does that colorate? How does, it, how does their night affect me? They sat in the night. They fired an arrow. The arrow traveled to America in the daytime. And it gets there. It loiters around your house and look everywhere. And when it's your night, that is when they come. That is why, even though they are around the house, at night, when you are walking and scattering the place with fire, every arrow from the pit of hell, I give you fire. Every witch that flew, I melt your, your wings. I melt your feather. Let him run. Let me see. Run to Africa and see. Anyone that was despised from a coven, they flew to get here. Whatever instrument you travel with, I set it on fire. That is why people wake up and see a witch stuck around the house, stuck around the tree. Because they came by plane, you set the plane on fire. They flew here, you melt their wings. They cannot run to Abuja. They can't run to your village. They can't run to wherever you are coming from. Hallelujah. 
You set them on fire in your own night. Surround your house. Make sure you pray. Don't be in a haste to sleep. Most times when the sleep is so heavy, there is a power around. They are blowing it. The moment you close your eye, not 20 minutes, they come. So when, they, when that sleep is so strong, set your knees on the ground and begin to pray. You will be amazed that after you pray, sleep will dry your eye. Take control of your night. Take control of your night. Take control of your night. No, no more division in your family. No more division in your destiny. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Acts chapter 16, 25 and 26, it was midnight. The apostles stood up and they began to pray. Hallelujah. The apostles stood up and they began to pray. In Acts chapter 5 and verse 19, he said, but the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors. Mighty deliverances take place at night. Kobadasha. In Matthew 14, 25, he said, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. Kobadasha. Meketebrehesh. When you take control of your night, what happens to others cannot happen to you. I'm just saying that if that woman was sleeping one eye closed, Watching the other one all the way close to her bed. Drop, <laughs> drop, a, drop, drop a dead child. You just say, hey, 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 carry him. Carry him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Carry your load. Carry your evil load. Carry and go. Hallelujah. Say, carry and go eat him. Take go. Take go. Go, go, go. But when you are sleeping, they are walking. When you are sleeping, they are walking. Say, lift up your eyes and say, Lord, give me the grace to take control of my night. Say, like you mean it. Say, Lord, give me the grace to take control of my night in the name of Jesus. In Judges 16, 1 to 3, the Bible said, uh, uh, what do you call it? Samson came to, to Gaza. And when the people heard it, he said, then went Samson to Gaza. And there he saw an harlot. And he went into her. And the people heard it. And they stood by and waited. The Bible said when it was night, they, they, when they heard, they came, they were hiding. They said, when it's day, we will catch him. We will kill him. And something understood night. When he woke up at midnight, he carried the gate. The whole city gate. The Bible said with the web and the beams. He put it on his head and went away with it. At night is the time you can uproot gates. This obstacle that has kept you for so long, take care of it in the night. Take care of it in the night. Take care of it in the night. There are people who are working overnight. You can still do something. Even though your schedule is at night, the kind of monitoring you have in the day, you don't have it at night. The, in fact, the number of staff at your place of work that are in the day. Am I speaking the truth here? Do you have the same strength of labor in the day as in the night? In the day that you have all supervisors, you have all kinds of people there. But at night, you can excuse yourself for 10 minutes. Yaka katobra, brekete, in the bathroom and come back. Is that true? You can even rush to your car. Tell somebody, okay, let me get to my car. I'm coming. You pray for five, 10 minutes. You have done something for yourself. You have averted some battles. Am I speaking to somebody? Make use of your night. Take control of your night. We have different work schedules. But understand the power of the enemy. The Bible says something in Luke twenty two fifty three. It says, Jesus said, when I was daily with you in the temple, nobody laid their hands. When I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. The night time is the time where the hand of the wicked is strong. That's when they could come, they could come for our Lord Jesus. He was with them every day. Why come in the night? Is with them every day because the strength of darkness, of the kingdom of darkness, is secrecy. The strength of the kingdom of darkness, is secrecy. They want to come where you cannot see them. When you least expect them, that's why they come at night. So you too must understand that this is when they plan to come and be waiting for them, returning arrows to them, sending arrows to them. Am I speaking to somebody here? As we take control of our night, I see God giving us victory on every side. Luke chapter six verse twelve. The Bible says, "And it came to pass in those days." That he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night. Hallelujah. 
Prayer at night takes control. Put you in charge. Hallelujah. In Daniel chapter 2 and verse 19, the Bible said, Then was the, the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 19. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. I pray for everyone here. Let the grace to take charge of your night. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let it rest upon everyone here in the mighty name of Jesus. Many people got married to good people. Good husband. Good wife. But the enemy came, divided the family at night. And now you are fighting each other. You don't know it's the hand of the wicked. That person is not bad. There are some people, in fact, the devil has gone so far that now they dream their husband or their wife is pressing them at night. You have known yourself 10 years. You've been together. Why is he pressing you now? He didn't press you before. He's pressing you now. The enemy has divided the home. Today, we'll put an end to that division. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever was done in the night, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Today, it expires. In the name of Jesus. Number three, Manata, have faith. Somebody say, have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. Hebrews 12 and verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. One of the acts that you are growing in faith is when your eyes are on him. Hallelujah. When your eyes are on him, this woman knew that the only place she can have her child back is when she turned to him. She went to the king. In those days, or in the Bible, anytime you see the king, it represents God or Satan. Because we have evil kings and we have godly kings. So when you see a king, a good king represents God in that area. This woman knew this is where my victory will come. She looked unto the king. Can we look unto God? If our eyes can be on Jesus, I tell you, your home will not be divided. If you can depend on him. I've seen people struggle and struggle and struggle. Some have family members that were back home. and They have struggled. Some stay here 10 years, 13 years just to bring the spouse. And after the person comes, after five years, they break away. And you say, oh, he was just an opportunist. No, sir, no, ma. Not everybody is like that. The enemy entered that family. The enemy introduced division. I pray for your home. Your home will not break for any reason. Your life will not be divided. I say your life will not be divided. In the name of Jesus. Your family will not be divided. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Barakashanda. We must believe in him. Depend on him. In Mark chapter 5 and verse 34. Mark chapter 10 verse 52. Luke chapter 7, Luke 7, 50, Luke 8, 48, Luke 17, 19. It all say, thy faith has made thee whole. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, thy faith has made thee whole. Can I take the scriptures again? Mark chapter 5, 34. Mark 5, 34. Mark 10, 52. Luke chapter 7, verse 50. Luke chapter 8 and verse 48. Luke 17, 19. Thy faith has made thee whole. Anything that is divided, there is a virtue that has left it. God made us whole. God made us whole. Hallelujah. He created us whole. And every division of the enemy is to take away that virtue of wholeness. If you cut anything into two, is it still whole? It is half. Right? But the scripture said, Thy faith has made thee whole. When we come to him believing, believing that is our only source, we don't have any other strength. Then you begin to see God ensuring that your family remains intact. God ensuring that your health remains intact. You discover that the people that came to Jesus with the issue of blood, in that Mark 5, he said, Jesus turned, when he looked at him, he spoke to her, he said, woman, thy faith has made thee whole. Hallelujah. 
The hell challenge you have is a division of the enemy. It divided your body. I was explaining something before. I said, there is no time you ask somebody, how are you doing? He said, oh, my right leg is okay. But when there is a problem, you identify, I have pain in the leg. The devil has divided your body part and subjected his pain, his affliction upon one. But Jesus said, thy faith has made you whole. If we have faith in him, then wholeness is our victory. Wholeness is our testimony. It means division will not hold in our life. Every agenda of hell, let me tell you, if you are in a marriage, in a relationship, all the time the threat is, this family will break. It will separate. The enemy has already begun a work. It is high time we address it. Am I speaking to somebody here? Every time you see children, people having their own opinion, families already breaking, going apart. It is high time we address it. I decree upon your life and your family, there shall be no division in this year. I said there will be no division in your family. There shall be no division in your family. In the name of Jesus. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, the scripture said, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe. Hallelujah. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, For without faith it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Without faith, it is impossible to even serve him. Our service, our work with him is by faith. Hallelujah. Has anybody seen God? We believe in him. That's why the Bible started in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. It said, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Things you never see. How you do get evidence? It's the picture of your faith. Hallelujah. It's the picture of your belief. And this only grows by you listening to the word of God. Don't let men talk you down. God is still in the business of doing things. Let me, let, me, let me be very, let me tell you one thing that should settle in your mind, in your spirit. The people that sit on social media and say all kinds of nonsense, are fighting churches, fighting the things of God, fighting miracles, fighting testimony, fighting prophecy. Some of them, they are sold, they are sold to the devil. And they are trying to assess you, they cannot. The only way they can assess you is by making you lose your place of comfort. Lose your place of protection. Lose your place of preservation. They don't have any with God anymore. After, if they close their eye, when they close their eye, because it's definite, they will someday. They are going straight to hell. And they know it. They want to attack your own. They know it. That is one thing we must watch jealously, our faith. Don't let people tell you things that are contrary. It doesn't matter their relationship with you. Make a definition. If it's your mother, say, Mom, concerning my faith, you remain my mother. Now you born me. Say, but when it has to do with my work with God, please stay out of it. What I know, you don't know it. You have not seen it. What I have been exposed to, you don't. Let me tell you, God gives us privilege by our availability. Listen, these young children you see in the children's church, their glory is not what we can compare with. If, as, if they remain as they are serving God, they continue serving God from child, grow doing this work. Forget it now. Whether you are a prophet, you will be afraid of them. Because what God will use them to do by reason of their longevity in their work with him. That is why there are some people who have been in church, they are, in, they are one leg in, one leg out. They have never had an encounter. Everything to them is gimmicks. Everything to them is arrangement. Because they have no encounter. They don't have any serious work with God. They have, some of them, they are, all the time, their life is lies telling. There is one thing God desires of his children. No matter what happens around you, be honest when you come to God. Because he sees the end from the beginning. He knows what you have done. He knows what is in your heart. The only person you should never lie in this life is God. Come to him naked. Every time David comes before him, he says, I'm a child. I'm only a child. Can you beat your child for errors? You will not. It's a genuine mistake. You give a child something, the hands start shaking and I force you beat them. That doesn't make sense. He's still a child. So God, when we come to him as his children, God begins to, there is a way he opens up to us. That's why the Bible said the righteous man fall a ten times, seven times, and he rises up. Child of God, understand, we have a place with God. Some people don't have. All they are doing is to bring discouragement. Nehemiah said, he said, they are doing all to weaken our hands so that the work will be not done. The work was not committed to their hands. It was committed to our hands. People bring discouragement from left, right, center. 
But when we stand our grounds, we see God like never before. I stand upon God's word. Everyone whose eyes are fixed on him, I declare you will see your family whole. Everything about you shall be whole. No more division in your life. Say it shall not be divided. Say it shall not be divided. Say my family will not be divided. In the name of Jesus. If they succeed, listen, you can go through tests, temptation, all kinds of things. What you should never have them, let them have, is your faith. Never allow your faith to fail. As long as your faith does not fail. Do you see the life of Job? Everything gone. Because when you, when you cross-examine that case, with human mindset, say, but the children already died. The children you loved. The, the wife you loved, cost it. Everything went. Can, he cannot get that back. The Bible says God restored him. God restored him. Hallelujah. God restored him twice as much as he had before. God gave him more than he had before. With God, it don't matter what is happening around you. There is a, there is a virtue that is only with God. Restoration. The virtue, this thing, the power of restoration is only with God. Nothing else. No one else. Nowhere else. God can restore a whole dead man back to life. Lazarus was dead. He brought him back. We must believe in him. God can restore any lost business. God can restore a lost family. God can restore a broken home. That is why each time Jesus ministered to people, he said be made whole. He, did, he hardly said be healed. He said be made whole. He said the same thing to blind Bartimaeus. He said the same thing to the woman with the issue of blood. Be made whole. He knows that their life was fragmentalized. He knows that their life was broken into pieces. He knows that their life was already divided. And he said, be made whole. Hallelujah. If we can look unto him, believe him. Believe only in him. There shall be wholeness in every aspect of your life. The enemy cannot divide your life. In Luke 22, from verse 31, the Bible says something. Jesus looked at Peter. He said, Simon, Simon, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Before they sift, they take you. That's why the Bible said in Acts chapter 12 and verse 1, he said, Herod the king stretched his hand to vex certain of the church. He took James and he killed him. Somebody is stretching hands against you and your family. I stand there under the mandate of God. I decree every evil hand stretched over your life, stretched over your affair, is cut up by fire. The hand stretched to divide your home, stretched to divide your life, stretched to divide your destiny. I decree it's cut up by fire. I decree 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 cut up by fire. In the name of Jesus. He said, or stretch his hand to vex certain of the church. Satan had desired to sift you. He, might, he had desired to have you. That he may sift you as wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. Verse 32. Hear the prayer. He said, that your faith fail not. I have prayed for you. That your faith fail not. I know there will be a season where it looks like things are not working. But I have prayed for you. That your faith fail not. Because after that season, there shall be glory. After that season, there shall be testimony. After that season, there shall be lifting. After that season, you will see God like never before. I decree every hand straight to divide your life be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. The last point before we pray. Please sit down. The last one, invoke judgment from God. People try to do judgment their way. People try to fight by themselves. I told us, don't, don't ever attack anybody. There are people who are already dead, and they are walking. They are waiting for who they will feel as the one that killed them. There are people, they killed themselves before they came out. Some people have killed themselves by cursing God. Some people have killed themselves by speaking evil over the things of God. There are people who are reading the Bible, judging the Bible upside down. Those who are they are already dead. They are already dead. They are looking for who will push them down and they say, is this man that killed him? Is this woman that killed him? Don't lay your hands on nobody. Let them carry their trouble somewhere else. I told us in my place of work, there's somebody that was 
ranting. If you look at him, like paper. If I give him a slap, his teeth will fall off. He was entering my face. I was making, insulting me. I looked at him. I just laughed. And I moved off. He did the same thing to his boss, his supervisor. <laughs> the next day, I asked about him. They say his behind has been fired. <laughs> The Bible says, <laughs> oh, the, the, the man was entering my body. I said, he said, you want, you want to try? You want to try? Let's go outside. I looked at him. I laughed. I said, this and if I slap you, your tooth will fall off. <laughs> I, I said, if I slap you, all your tooth will fall off. They said, he did the same thing to his supervisor. The supervisor t- told him what to do. He refused to do it. He said, let's go outside and finish it. He said, as you go out, never return to this place. <laughs> Just leave them. Some are dead already. They are looking for who? Kabbalah. You know, I thank God that it happened that way because if it didn't happen that way, it would have felt like maybe because of that incident, I was the one that reported him and they fired him. Now he himself, he himself, he, he fought with his boss. You see, when people, I say some people are already dead before they come out. That's why when you look at them, just ignore them sometimes. Just laugh and go. Laugh and go. The day I was laughing, he said, is it everything a laughing matter? I said, well, to me. Somebody like you, a comedian. <laughs> when you see a mosquito warming up that, I'm going to kill you. Then you know that, is it that he's dead already, looking for somebody to just kill? Or he was sent. So I, I'm not going to be somebody that you will put in your problem. Hallelujah. So avoid people's matter. Invoke judgment from heaven. No matter what they do, tell them, God will take care of this. God will handle this. Take it to God in prayer. The Bible says two women came and the woman began to explain the matter. And the other one said, no. The living child is mine. The dead is hers. And Solomon introduced wisdom. Child of God, when you take matters to God for judgment, God will never fail you. God will never fail you. If they are gone to a wrong person, they would have perverted the judgment. They would have perverted the justice. But it was taken to God. When you bring matters to God, I don't know who is troubling your life. Take it to God in prayers. Invoke judgment from God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 5, 26, He said, for among my people are wicked men. You will never know them. Let God be the judge. Hallelujah. 1 John 5, 19, we know we are of God and the whole world in wickedness. There are wicked men and women everywhere. It's only God that can take care of them. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 1. He said, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun. And it is common among men. There are wicked men. Manakasha. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11. He said, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. He said, the heart of the sons of men is setting them to do evil. When people, oh Shabaha, the first one they took, nothing happened. That's why they came for the second. The first one they took, nothing happened until they came for the next. We saw in Acts chapter 12, the Bible said when they killed James, he pleased the Jew. They went ahead to take Peter. Anyone happy over your pain, I decree, may they carry that pain. Anyone celebrating to see you tight in one corner, I decree, let it go back to them. Amen. Let them taste of it. 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 Amen. Somebody say judgment from heaven. Judgment Fall from upon heaven. the wicked. Fall upon say the wicked. judgment from God. Judgment from God. Fall, upon the Fall upon the wicked. Judgment from heaven. Judgment from Fall, heaven. Upon the Fall upon the wicked. In the name of Jesus. In the Jesus. name of Jesus. Can we be on our feet? Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray here like uh, pray like you have never prayed before. We are going to pray. Say, my father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. As I begin to pray. As, as I, I begin, begin to in pray. The Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Anyone on assignment. Anyone, anyone on assignment. To divide my life. To divide my life. To divide my destiny. To divide my family. 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 To
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible says something in, in Matthew 13, 25. He said, why men slept? His enemy came. So tired. And he went his way. And, you know, they keep doing that. They'll come and do it and they go quietly. They'll come and do it and they go. Anyone that has been responsible for continuous affliction in my life and family, Father, I summon them here. Amen. Let judgment fall on them. Amen. I summon them here. Amen. Let judgment fall on them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your voice. Say, my Father, my Father. My father my Lord, father. as I begin to pray. Lord, begin in, to the pray. in the name of Jesus. Anyone, Anyone responsible, responsible for continuous affliction, for continuous affliction in, my life, in my life, in my family, in my affairs, in my business, in my, business, in my, business, in my business, health, in my, health, in my children, in my, children, in my marriage. In my I summon them here. Yeah. Let judgment fall on them. Expire today. Expire now. Expire now. Expire now. Clap your hands and pray. Let your God He attacked your God. Who look at the God? He attacked the Lord. He attacked the God. Who look at the God? Who look at the God? He attacked the God. 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 Jesus, mighty name we pray. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray begin to in pray. the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. My, life, my life, my destiny, my, destiny. my, family, my family, my marriage, my, my health, my, my wealth shall not be divided. It shall not be divided. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the church that has been divided, that has been divided. Let there be a restoration. 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 Right now. 
right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let there be a restoration. 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 Let there be a Lighted by your word, and with your bread of life, that is how I come my life. That is how I change my world. Father to child, spirit to spirit. Lighted by your word, and with your bread of life, that is how I come my life. That's how I change my world. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Oh hey Yahweh. Oh hey Yahweh is your name. Breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name, just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Oh, hey, Yahweh, oh, it's your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name, just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Oh, Jesus, you are the lily of the valley. Sweet Jesus, you are the bright and morning star. Oh, Jesus, you are the mighty man in battle. I call you, I call you Jesus, the master of the world. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, you are the lily of the valley. Yes, you are, sweet Jesus. You are the bright and morning star, morning star. Oh, Jesus, you are the mighty man in battle. I call you, I call you, Jesus, the master of the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. I call you Jesus. You are the master of the world. I call you Jesus. You are the master of the world. Lift up your hands, everybody. Father, manana makasha labaha. Libro kutu zagabalida. Manano kabadash. I decree over your life. Your life will not be divided. Amen. Your destiny will not be divided. Amen. Your life will not be divided. Amen. Your family will not be divided. Amen. Your marriage will not be divided. Amen. Your business will not be divided. Amen. Your wealth will not be divided. Amen. That which God has put in you will not be divided. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree whatever the enemy, the hand of the wicked has divided before now. I decree 
by the mandate of God. Let there be a restoration now. Amen. Let there be a restoration now. Amen. Restoration in your body. Amen. Restoration in your health. Amen. Restoration in your career. Amen. Restoration in your destiny. Amen. Restoration in your marriage. Amen. In your home. Amen. In your family. Amen. Among your siblings. Among your loved ones. Let there be restoration Amen. now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Your word came for a purpose. Yes. The Bible says, so shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall fulfill the purpose of it. Amen. Father, this word you have given to us today, whatever was already divided, let it be made whole. Amen. Let there be a restoration of hope. Amen. Let there be a restoration of wealth. Amen. Let there be a restoration of health. Amen. Let there be a restoration of good contact. Amen. Let there be a, a restoration of your good health. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that home be restored. Amen. Let lives be restored. Amen. Let relationships be restored. Amen. Let families be restored. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Thank glory. Thank you, mighty Father. In the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I hear God is telling me there are families that are not united at all because the enemy divided them. But right now, God is restoring them. Amen. God is restoring them. Amen. The enemy has been in the family for too long. People not talking to each other, people not working together. I pray even my family, there shall be restoration. Amen. There will be restoration. Amen. In this service, restoration. If you're among that category, come. Those homes that the enemy has divided, people don't want to see each other. Come, let me pray. Let God restore that home. Let God restore that home. Because you don't want the enemy to enter somebody to go to voodoo because that person will die and we have lost that person. So what we have to do is to pray for restoration. Let God take away that division. Whatever the hand of the enemy has divided, Holy Spirit, breathe upon your people. I decree, as you represent that family, as I represent my own family as well, I decree, let the hand of God restore. Restore our families, restore our homes, restore our families, restore that which the enemy has divided in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree after this encounter, some people will be crying while they are talking to you. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what came over me. I don't know why I've been fighting you. I don't know what, is, what has been happening. I pray that after this encounter this morning, restoration in your home, Amen. restoration among your children, restoration among your siblings, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaka Bahata. I, I sense the anointing very strong this morning. I decree as I lay my hands upon you, there shall be an evidence. I decree your home is restored. I decree your family is restored. Amen. Restoration among siblings. Restoration, 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 restoration. Power. I decree restoration. Restoration, restoration. I decree restoration. Makato Balegaba. Restoration. I decree restoration. In the name of Jesus. Restoration. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus, your home will not be divided. Your home will not be divided. Your home will not be divided. In the name of Jesus, your home will not be divided. Your home will not be divided. In the name of Jesus, I decree your destiny will not be divided. Amen. In Pakota Zibalash, Lembro Kosa Gabale Daba, Lekakoshi Gabaladash, Mekate Bredesh, Brokotogash, Brokotogash, Mommy come, Mommy come, I didn't reach you, come, come, come. Kabala Dabrash, Breketo Gadash, O Brakato Barash, I Brekatesh, I decree restoration. We cancel every division. 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 In the name of Jesus. Manakada Brahasha. Break it. Anybody have any serious headache? Anybody with headache? Pain in the head. Do you come? Remove the glasses. Father, let it go now. Spirit of God, you reveal to redeem. Let it go. Let it go. 
Wholeness. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree your healing is established. You are made whole in Jesus' name. Mataku Baratasha. Wholeness in the name of Jesus. Wholeness in the name of Jesus. I decree your home will not be divided. Amen. Your destiny will not be divided. Amen. Your greatness will not be divided. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's take our communion. The communion will bring a complete wholeness in your health. Amen. In the body of Christ, he said we should take it. And when we take it, the body and the blood, it takes away infirmity. It shall be so in our life in the name of Jesus. You can drive. You don't have a car. You need a car. Father, I speak favor. I speak favor. If every day in your life, everything you eat and drink, you must buy everything, where is the place of favor? If since you have been taking care of yourself all by yourself, everything from your clothing, everything, where is the place for favor? I said a good man, I touch the heart of the people around your life. In fact, if they fail to do it, let God send help from another quarter. I decree that God will show up on your behalf. I release cars. I decree cars are released. 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 Some of you, you will not even pay for your car. They will buy it and give you for free. Father, I ask for favor. I ask for favor. Let it come without struggle. Let it come without struggle. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Dada Gada, Roku to Zekadebresh, Rakata Telebahash, Mekatebresh, favor in the name of Jesus. 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 I decree your doors are open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anybody here who is not working, who needs a job? Father, let it be released in the name of Jesus. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. In the favor, the favor of God. The favor of God. The favor of God. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. The favor of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Let it be released in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Father, anyone that has been covered, even those that were in relationship before, whose relationships were divided, Father, you are the God that restores. We decree in this service that God will send your help. God will send your help meet. God will send your life partner in the name of the Lord Jesus. I decree the hand of God rest upon everyone here. Your doors be open. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. I decree you are protected. Your family is protected. I decree you are protected. Your family is protected. I don't know, I see something. There's someone who a first child of the family, and you, they are wounding like an embargo will wound you. Somebody wants you, threatens you. A first child in the family. I just said, there's a first child in the family and has been threatened. Somebody is threatening you. Can we check him in the children's church? A first child in the family. You are the first child. They threaten you. Come, come, come. Come here. As a first child. Shanakata. Ibra Katubadash. Makati Brada Badash. Ibra Katu Barata de Badash. Are you first child? Munda Katu Baganash. Is there another person coming? 
a first child that has been treated. Father, I stand here and as a representative of grace. Father, we ask that let the evil voice be silent for good. In this place, let the evil voice be silent for good. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord make your head harder than that of your enemies. Any arrow that fires you, let it go back to them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Makata brada basha. Kele bogo 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 bogo. Ibra kata kata. Beke teke te. Kaba nada basha. Seke te gade. So many keep attacking everything. Master to nothing. Everything you do, I'm master to nothing. Everything is you said you want to do is yours. God. In this give me oil. Give me oil. From today, everything will begin to work. Whatever they did, maybe they said it with their mouth. I said with my mouth. From today, everything you touch, it will work. It will prosper. It will prosper. It will prosper. It will prosper. It will prosper in the name of Jesus. Makata Badash. Rekete Kete. Rekete Kete. Father, I decree, let it prosper. Let it prosper. Let it prosper. Holy Spirit, let it prosper. Let it prosper. Let it prosper. Let it prosper. We seal up the holes in your hand. We seal up the holes in your hand. We seal up the holes in your hand. I will mark you for favor. I mark you for favor. I mark you for favor. From today going forward, everything you said you want to do, let it prosper. In the name of Jesus. be planted in the vineyard of the Lord. They will prosper in the, in the courts of our God. You are planted, therefore you will prosper. You are planted, therefore you will prosper. You are planted, therefore you will prosper. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare no more failure. In the name of Jesus. It is no longer as we say that with you. Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, King of You are healed. You are healed. From every form, form of sickness, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are noble. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I declare that you are blessed. You are highly favored. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. 